We're here at Mock Industries today with Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott. General, welcome back to Texas GOP Vote. Thank you so much. Great to be back with you again. Yeah, today you picked a perfect backdrop to roll out your Working for Texas plan, your business plan on how to move the state of Texas forward in this business economy. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, this is one of the job creators in the great state. These are men and women who go to work every day to earn a paycheck. My goal as governor is to make sure that the workers of this plant, the owners of this plant, the entrepreneurs, are going to be able to earn more and keep more of what they make. We do that by making sure that we right-size government. We have a government that doesn't dig too, too deeply into their pockets, doesn't take too much of their tax money, and protects uh, against growing government that will impose more burdens on them. So, one of the things that I'm interested in, we're growing very rapidly as a state. How do we grow the infrastructure of the state and still maintain fiscal responsibility? It, it's, it's very easy uh, if you follow my plan for both spending and for a constitutional amendment. Because what I call for is a more strict standard for spending, but also a, a standard that is loose enough that it makes up for the growth in the population. My standard is to uh, allow the budget to expand no more than the increase in the size of population growth plus inflation. That allows us to accommodate for the increased demands on our roads, our schools, our water, etc. as the state grows, but puts limits on the amount government can spend. Okay. There's been a lot of pressure, particularly in this last session, on the rainy day fund. Um, is that something that we can just dip into at will, or how do we work with Not the rainy day fund? The rainy day fund is our savings account. Mm -hmm. We need that rainy day fund. Remember this. Uh, a lot of people forget this fact, and that is over the past 10 years, twice, uh, we've run budget deficits that we needed to tap into the rainy day fund for or tap into reserves. Mm -hmm. We need this to ensure that we're going to be able to balance our budget. So first and foremost, we need to keep a certain minimum balance in our rainy day fund. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we need to put additional protection so we stop the legislature from tapping into the rainy day fund for ongoing poor government expenses. That's why part of my plan is to put new constitutional limitations on the reasons that will allow legislators to tap into the rainy day fund. And then if we have a surplus in, in the budget, what do we do with the money on that? Is that a tax rebate or is there a tax reduction to pay off debt? It, 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 you can use it to pay off debt, uh, which, you know, listen, the state of Texas is higher in debt than what people realize. Or it can be used uh, to uh, return to the taxpayers in the form of tax relief. Mm -hmm. Okay. Changing subjects just a little bit, border security. What do we do to get the government, to, the federal government to do its job? And if they won't do our job, what do we do here as Texas to protect our border and our citizens? We've tried several legal angles uh, to get the federal government to do its job. Uh, there was a lawsuit back when Bush was governor called Bush versus the United States mm -hmm. uh, that sued the federal government to make the federal government pay us for all these costs we incur, such as imprisonment costs or education costs or health care costs. And the federal court said uh, that that was a political issue that the courts would not decide. Uh, more recently, of course, there was the lawsuit uh, that was spearheaded by the state of Arizona, uh, where the United States Supreme Court tied the hands of the state. So that's a long way of explaining that the, the options available to the state are limited. So what we have to do is we have to, as state leadership, step up to do the job that the federal government has failed to do, even if it means incurring more costs as ta taxpayers. One of those things that I will do as governor is make sure that we secure our border. The reality is we're in here in Houston today. Houston is one of the most dangerous places for cartel and gang-related activity because the cartels are coming to Houston. They're, they're leveraging gangs here to distribute their uh, drug products. And we need to be able to crack down on that to keep people here in Houston safe, but at the same time work to protect on the border itself. And so one thing that I will do as governor is to secure our border, even if it means that we as Texans have to pick up that tab. Last question. Okay. And if, um, if, is there a way to recoup this money from the federal government? We, we have explored legally mm -hmm. the way to recoup the money from the federal government, and, and the courts have said no, yeah. that we can't do that. So we have to have the federal government, uh, we have to put pressure on the federal government to reimburse us mm -hmm. 
Uh, and, and I can do that and will do that uh, as a voice to convince Washington to pay the bill that they are uh, imposing on us. But Obama may not do that for us, and the Democrats in Washington may not do that for us. And so they failed to do that. We're going to have to find our own Texas-based solutions to solve these problems. We do have a long way to go on this issue, and hopefully Washington will come around and do its job. But in the meantime, we need someone there that will take care of the state of Texas and make sure we're safe. And that's exactly what I will be doing. Well, Governor, excuse me, Attorney General, thank you very much for coming here to talk to Texas you, GOP vote again. And we hope we can sit down with you again in the future and talk about a couple other issues. You can count on it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.